I really think D-Day is important because it sets the precedent for how we need to follow as service members. We got to watch in a very, very moving ceremony today to honor not only those that are here buried, but those that are still alive to tell the story of what it means to give the ultimate sacrifice and what it means to fight for freedom. We are always and forever going to be up against somebody else trying to take away that freedom. And so we need to remember what they have done and what they have given to inspire us and to inspire future generations to get up and defend not only our country, but for the freedom of the entire world. Right after I had commissioned into the Air Force, I had come here with my fiance to go look uh, at the cemetery and we also went to Omaha Beach. And now getting to be here again as Miss America just reminds me a lot of the same feelings that I had last year. And understanding that to me, the American flag are those people that are buried here. It's the people that gave the ultimate sacrifice to allow us to be the nation that we are. Without their sacrifice, I wouldn't even be able to put on the uniform today. And so thinking of everyone that had come before me, set the tone, and inspired all of us to continue to serve today, that's how I feel every time that I come here. And I'm just so beyond honored to get to see some of the greats from that generation stand up there today, still holding those same values that I value as an American and an airman. I think one of the cool things that I got to do on the very first day here was going back to the beach and just standing there and then also being here today watching some of the footage, looking at pictures of those people and the courage that it took to step outside of those boats to fight for something so much larger than themselves. It is truly so inspiring and I wish that every American and especially all of our military members could get to see it in person because I don't think that you can really get the full understanding looking at it from the photos but going and looking at the beach going and looking at the headstones here just brings so many more emotions and honor and legacy to them because we look at how important it is what they did how they stood with allies and what that means for us present day to continue to stand with our allies to fight against something that's trying to take away our values and so I just love getting to be here and I wish more people could have gotten to see it. June 6, 2024 represents the 80th anniversary of D-Day and Operation Overlord. This is Omaha Beach and it's crazy that right here where I'm standing, history was made and over 160,000 Allied troops landed on these beaches on Normandy of June 6, 1944. What is D-Day? I was surprised by how little we actually learned in school and how we really don't go into depth about not only what it means for America, but for the entire free world. Supported by 5,300 ships and vessels from 12 nations and over 12,000 Allied aircraft, the campaign nicknamed Operation Overlord marked the beginning of Allied liberation for Nazi-occupied Europe. D-Day is a reminder that a unified effort can change the world. When I put on my uniform, I'm not just joining the ranks of American airmen serving today. I'm also stepping into a commitment with our allies and partners, and I'm continuing a long history of women and men who have joined a community much larger than themselves. We honor those in whose footsteps we follow by remaining ready and postured to stand together against any threat.